Hi guys, this lesson is section 7.2, which is solving systems of equations by substitution. Uh, 7.1 was solving by graphing, 7.2 is solving by substitution, and 7.3 will be solving by elimination, otherwise known as linear combination or linear combo. Okay, so I just have four examples. I'm going to try and work through different types of ways to solve these. And hopefully it'll be pretty simple and you'll get it. The first one, if they give it to you nice and easy like this, where it's y equals y equals, I can take this y and put it into this equation. I'm trying to make one equation with one variable. So see how you have two variables, x and y, x and y. If I move this here and I change this y and make it equal to that, and I still have the x plus 5 here, all I did was I, I changed y into 2x minus 1. Now I have one equation with one variable and I can solve it. So when I solve it, I can minus x from both sides again. I'm going to do this, minus x, and I got x minus 1 is equal to 5. I can plus 1 to both sides, and I get x equals to 6. If you remember when we solved the graphing, we need coordinates. So now that I, had it, I have x equals 6, I need to find y. I can take this 6 and put it into either one of these equations, whichever one is easier. Okay, I noticed the red one is going to be easier, so I'm going to put it into here. So when I go y is equal to 6 plus 5, that equals to 11. So when I do it, I need to go 6 comma 11. Make sure you put your, your answer in coordinate form. Don't leave it like this. Put it into coordinate form. Okay, so here's another example here y equals x plus 1 and 2x plus y is equal to 10. Because this y is already solved, I can actually just take this and put it into this y here. Okay, that would make sense instead of, because there's nothing I can put in the first equation yet. I'd have to do some work first. So I can just write 2x and then plus, and you can see instead of writing y, I'm going to write x plus 1, and then I'm going to make it equal to 10. So you can see instead of the y, I wrote x plus 1. That's called substitution. I'm substituting the x plus 1 into the y. And now I can solve it. So I can combine my like terms, since it's on the same side of the equal sign, and I get 3x plus 1 is equal to 10. I'm going to minus 1 for both sides, and I get 3x is equal to 9. Divide by 3, and x is equal to 3. Now I can take it into either one of these, and I can see that the first one is going to be easier, because I'm trying to find y. If I put the 3 here, I have to do more work. But if I just put it into this first one, I can get y is equal to 3 plus 1, which is equal to 4. And again, make sure you put it into coordinate form, 3 comma 4. Okay, and I can do a quick check again, of, um, a visual check. If I put a 3 in for x, do I get a 4 for y? Yes. If I put a 3 here and a 4 here, I get 6 plus 4 is 10. So it is good for both equations. Okay, here's a third example. And I'll switch lights. You can see you don't have to substitute the y's. In this case, since I have x equals to something already, I can just take that x, I can take this, and put it into that x up there. Okay, So I'm just showing you, you don't always have to go to the bottom equation, and you don't always have to do the y. If they give it to you as x equals already, just substitute that in. So on the top, I would have y minus 4, instead of the x, this is this equation here plus 4y is equal to 1. So instead of x, instead of x like this, I put the y minus 4. That's substitution. Now I can combine my like term since it's on the same side of the equal sign. So here's my equal sign. So I'm going to combine my like terms, this and this, and I'm going to get 5y minus 4 is equal to 1. I'm going to add 4 to both sides to get rid of this. 5y is equal to 5. Divide both sides by 5, and y is equal to 1. 
So this time now I got y instead of the x. In this other example, you can see I got the x first. This time I got the y first, which is still okay. But now I still need to find x. So when I substitute it in, I'm going to put it into this equation because it's easier. I can just see it's easier. So I get um, x is equal to 1 minus 4 because y is there. So x is going to equal to negative 3. So my answer is going to be negative 3 comma 1. Again, coordinate form. If I do a quick check, negative 3 here, 1 here, true. Negative 3 here, 1 here. Negative 3 plus 4 is equal to 1, true. Okay, so that's three different examples. I'll show you one more, but here is homework check number one first. Solve this, okay, and I'll give you a hint. Take this at y and put it into there and substitute, just like the first example that I did. Okay, and again, put it into coordinate form. Okay, the last example I want to show you is by using distributive property. So you can see I don't, in this case here, I'm sorry, I'm going to slide it. I gave you like an x equals 2, or I gave you one equation that's already a y equals 2. Okay, in this equation, you can see that I don't have an x equal 2 or a y equal 2. I need to do some work, because in order to substitute it, I, make, I need to make one of these equations a y equals 2 equation or x equals equation. Okay, I could do this to the first one. It doesn't matter. If I have x minus 3y is equal to 2, I could plus 3y to both sides. And then I would get x is equal to 3y plus 2. And then I could take this and put it into that x there. Okay, so I could do that. That's one way. Another way is I could solve for the bottom one. So that I did the first one here. I could do this one where if I have 2x minus y is equal to 9, I could minus 2x from both sides and get negative y is equal to negative 2x plus 9. Divide everything by negative 1. y is equal to 2x minus 9. And I could take this and put it into the first equation there. Okay, your choice on what you need to do. If I notice this, I can do this in one step and I got an x. Whereas this one I had to minus and then divide two steps. So I would use this one if I were you. Okay, again, if you did the other way, not a problem. It would still work. So, I'm going to erase this, and we're going to use this first example. Okay, when I take this 3y plus 2, and I substitute it into this x, okay, I'm going to rewrite this equation here. So I got 2, and then 3y plus 2. instead of the x, minus y is equal to 9. Okay. I'm trying to color code it so you can see. So instead of putting this red x here, like this, I put this 3y minus 2. I substitute it in. That's what substitution is. Now when I solve it, I need to solve by distributing. Okay, That's what you needed to see. 6y plus 4 minus y is equal to 9. And now I'm where I was with the others. I need to combine like terms. So I have 6y minus y is 5y plus 4 is equal to 9. I'm going to minus 4 from both sides, and I get 5y is equal to 5. Divide both sides by 5, and y is equal to 1. Now it's not so easy as to which one I want to put it in. Um, either one would work. So just for, sorry, kick that. Just to go this, I'm going to put it into there. Okay. So I got... I'm going to rewrite this one. x minus 3 times 1 is equal to 2. So x minus 3 is equal to 2. When I plus 3, I get x is equal to 5. So my answer is going to be 5 comma 1. Okay. So you might have to do some work in order to substitute. So you might have to change one of the equations um, into a x equals 2 or a y equals 2 and substitute. That's what I wanted to show you in this. And make sure when you substitute it in, make sure you put parentheses around it and then distribute it in. In this case, you can see because there is a 2x 
when I distributed in, I had to do that. In this case here, you can just see the x is by itself. That's not 2x or anything like that. So when I substitute it in, that's why it's just y minus 4. There's no coefficient in front of the x. Okay, so there's the four examples. Here's your homework check number two. And I tried to cut or color code it for you already. So make sure you take this in parentheses, put it into there, and then rewrite it and go. Okay, and I'll set it, I'll even set it up for you. Minus 4y minus 4 plus 5y is equal to 2. There's your substitution. Instead of x, you write that. Okay, go ahead and solve it. Make coordinate forms. Make sure you do your homework check before class starts. Take care.